All right, so I'm going to do a uh, a play-by-play, -play, if you will, on my video. You can let me know in the comments if you prefer it this way, or should I just shut up and go back to the old way? Got a couple of red light runners here. Uh, on the right-hand side, you see the guy just kind of roll through it, but this guy behind him, he doesn't even slow down. Stop it! He goes right through. I find a lot of Massachusetts drivers think that right on red means they can go right when the light is red and that they don't have to stop first. I've actually uh, confronted drivers that have done this, and that's what they tell me. I'm just going right on red. Okay, then. Here I'm sitting at my red light, and uh, if you watch as this truck goes, my light will turn green, and this black truck here, he just blows right through the red light. Stop, don't, come back. And because of the delayed green, I think the silver car ahead of him also ran that red light on their side. Coming up to one of my uh, typical intersections where I have problems. I uh, see the red van there just run the stop sign so that he can get out ahead of me. Rolling, 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 Almost rolling, gets whacked. Rolling, if that car hadn't been turning right when he pulled out, he'd have got T-boned. But he's not through there, so we get up to the uh, intersection ahead here. You can see by my caption, he's not going to signal his turn as he gets ready to go left. Okay, bye! Uh, just one of those drivers that uh, really doesn't care about anybody else. He's got a place to be, and he's not going to signal. I mean, even the tractor-trailer is signaling his turn. And uh, the camera doesn't show it, but this car here, she, she pulls right out in front of me. I think it's the uh, the angle of the lens. It's a 120-degree like lens, so sometimes things don't look as close as they really are. But anyway, she races out to get ahead of me, and then promptly stops so that people can get out and people can make their turns. I just don't get it, because she raced to get out ahead of me, and then stops. And there's a whole line of cars behind us, so I, that annoys me. Here we get to this intersection where I usually see people just running stop signs without any care. And now we get to the point nobody knows whose turn it is to go, so they just sit there and wait. <laughs> and I'm just shaking my head because nobody went. It took them forever to figure out who was going to go first. So I put my motorcycle camera in the back window of my car because I wasn't riding this week. I was in a training class near Boston, so I was driving every day. And uh, it worked. Look at her run the stop sign. That, that, that's terrible. It was nice to have that camera back there because a lot of times when I'm in the car, things like this happen all the time. And She's crossing the yellow line. Uh, this next stop sign, she just blows through that one too. So I think this winter, when I put the bike away for the season... I will take that camera and mount it in the back window of the car so I don't miss some of these great views. So it was good to have that camera in the back window. Here we are in early morning traveling towards Boston on one of the routes I took and this car in front of me decides they need to exit so one lane change and then I'm just going to jam myself in in front of this car here. You can see they almost hit her. I'm not sure if it was a he or a she, but they cut over there and almost got hit because they made the double lane change to get out of the, the highway. Now this girl really annoyed me. I ended up blowing my horn at her as I went by her, but she comes running up behind me. She was moving pretty quick. Traffic's moving along at a good clip. I'd say we're probably doing 60 at this point. Anyway, uh, I pull out to make a pass on this white van. And you watch, she'll pull out, and she's going to pass too. I had seen her coming. I thought she was moving pretty fast, so no big deal. I make my pass on the van, and I pull back in. And uh, she's making her pass too. I move out of her way. I figure, just let her by. No big deal. I'm not racing. I'm not trying to be a jerk or anything can see she's got plenty of room if she wanted to pull in behind me, but she decides she's going to pass me too. And then she does this. And this is just, it's annoying. To cut across my nose just so she could get to the exit. And then I have to slow down to avoid bumping her because she had moved all the way over when I got to her. It's like, why didn't she just pull in behind me, you knucklehead? Alright, so now we got a, 
a little bit of rain in the air. You watch this white van on the right up here. This is traffic on I-95 South, and as you can see, it's only 315. The light comes on and he goes, You have got to be kidding me. I guess he just figured he's a big truck, he can just go, and you know, i got to hit the brakes to avoid running into him. Uh, later on that same drive, it's raining a lot harder. I'm doing about 65, maybe upwards of 68 in the left lane here. Um, I had just passed another car. They actually pulled in behind me. I don't know why. But uh, if you watch, these two knuckleheads come flying up the middle lane. And this BMW is flying. Probably 75, almost 80 miles an hour. And then you got the pickup truck right behind him. They're moving at a pretty good pace for a rainy day. I mean, we're in Massachusetts. When it rains, people are just crazy. And this Whee! shows it. So they both fly by me in the middle lane. The, be the beamer cuts off the guy in front of me, and that freaks him out, so he starts to slow down. So I pulled into the middle lane because I don't know what's going to happen. Give myself a little bit of room. But if you watch ahead, the truck starts pumping his brakes because he caught up to the cars ahead of him too fast, and he had no place to go. Nuts. Here we are. It's uh, real early morning. I'm coming up the road here, and I'm only doing 65 because it's darker, and... I'm not taking any chance for the. I look in my rearview mirror and I see these lights coming, pretty bright, and they're moving. He's moving fast. Goes from the left lane all the way to the right lane to pass me. Flies by me, just so he can exit up here. It's like, why do you need to do almost 80 miles an hour to get to your off ramp? The road's wet. I, I half expected to see him lose it and slide out off right off the road, but he didn't. So like I said, I was traveling to the Boston area all week, and uh, one day I had to take the Mass Pike, and here's a little uh, sample of what that's like. 